Hi everyone, this is Gurpreet from Database Canvas and today I'm going to share a wonderful tip on how to make bar chart with rounded edges. It will look something like this where I'm showing the sales by subcategories in a sample superstore data set. So how to achieve this? Let's get started with a brand new workbook where I will be connecting to a sample superstore data set. So let's go to the data tab and create a new data source. And then I will select from the saved data sources and select the sample superstore data set. So once we have all the data fields on the left hand side, we will create a simple bar chart by just bringing subcategory into the row shelf. And let's bring sales into the X marks. So first of all, I will create a bar chart by this by just clicking on the recommended bar chart on the right hand side and I will sort it in the descending order of sales. As you can see it here, we have phone with maximum number of sales. So I will simply create a placeholder calculation by selecting zero and I will press enter. And you will see another bar chart created for each category with the value of zero. So that's why you will see a small line here for each category. That's because of this sum of zero value. You can create any measure aggregation. It can be average, sum, maximum, minimum, whichever you want. It won't make much difference. So we are just trying to create a placeholder for each of these categories. So now the trick comes in to place. So we will just select this zero calculation and drag it over to the sales axis. You will see two rulers here. It means that we are trying to create a combined axis chart. So we will just drag the sum value from, let me go back one step. I just moved it to the wrong place. So I will just select this value, drag it over to the sales axis and where you see the two rollers, just leave it there. What happens now? So as you can see here for each subcategory, there are two bars. One is for the sales and one is for the zero value which we created. And now we need to create the rounded corners. For that, we will just change the bar marks from the marks label to a line chart. And you will see here, the line is joining from that zero value to the sales value. In this case, because these two measure names are at different rows. So you will see a slanting line connecting the zero value and the maximum value of the sales. And you can see a quite big angle while the line is joining between zero value and the value of the sales. So now we need to remove this measure name so that we can get a straight line. We will move this measure name Pell from row shelf and we'll move it to the path mark and you will see we got a straight line here and now we just need to do a bit of formatting to make it cleaner and get the rounded bars so rounded bars are uh, rounded corners are already created but it's too small so we will first of all go to the size and change the size and we will change the view to the entire view for this worksheet and you will see the rounded corners are created that's quite an quite an easy way to do it so we will do a bit more formatting here. I will bring the labels. We'll say show mark labels. We don't want to see these zeros. So I will simply say where line. Uh, so in this case, we will do it that way. And in the alignment, we can. So in this case, I will say uh, keep it on the center or maybe on the right hand side. That's fine. And I will just to the line end and in this case we don't want to oh sorry i unselected it by mistake on this case we don't want to see the zeros at the front so i will just say uh, line label start of the line i want to just uncheck so we get it nice and um, highlighted text labels at the end of each rounded bars we can change the formatting we can keep the size of the, keep the color the way we want. We can increase the size a bit and we can do a bit more formatting to remove the grid lines. I don't want the grid lines in here 
and I don't even want the zero X's. It will look something like this. And I want it to start from a bit more uh, front because here you can see a bit of space between the header and the line from where it starts. So I will just go to edit X's and I will say fixed and I will keep it automatic. But in the beginning, I will just say negative five. It's too much. So I will say negative five K in this case. So yeah, it's nice and close to the headers. And I can change the color, whichever I want. So in this case, I will keep it consistent. I will do a bit of formatting with the headers. I will make it a bit bigger and bold and we'll keep the color like this. We'll align the way I want it. So I prefer to be on the left hand side. And here you go. That's how we achieve the rounded bar chart edges. I hope you guys like it. And for more such tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time. Thank you.